Hi, I'm Jenny Fram, the creative blogger and digital artist for Life is Messy and Brilliant. Welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to edit my college uh, student planner and I will also teach you how to use my um, Halloween neon stickers. All right, let's get started. So this is my um, digital um, keynote planner. This is an editable um, file, which means you can move the titles. You can edit the titles, change them to anything you want. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is teach you the stickers. Let's jump into the calendar. Once you save them to the files app, you will get two different folders. One is a PNG folder. This is where all the stickers are. This means that they have a clear background. So this is how it looks on top of a um, white background. And this is how they look against a black background. That way you can use in either or it's gonna look really beautiful. And I'm going to teach you how to use them. It comes in six different colors. All the stickers come in these six different colors, pink, purple. This is black, kind of white. Um, orange, yellow, and green. And I made sure to include a little bit about um, everything that involves Halloween with a very chic and um, cute touch, which is what um, characterizes me. Some of the stickers are neon like the ones you see here, and some of the stickers are not neon. They have a um, color on top of them, like this cauldron, the witch hat, um, the candy, and the cat. They have this beautiful, like late night um, type of theme. There they are, and then this um, fall theme too. They will have. They also have a like a clear background, but they have a beautiful fall theme um, style. All right, let's go into the planner. Once you have your Keynote Planner open or your GoodNotes Planner open, this is how you're gonna do it. Slide your finger from the bottom towards the top to reveal the menu. I save my files app in the bottom of the uh, iPad. It helps me find it really quickly. And then jump into your files app and find the stickers. Go to the Keynote stickers and let's start decorating our spread. Um, let's start by gently put pressure on one of the stickers and drag it into the canvas. Oop. So be careful when you drag it or where you drag it, just like I did here, it will drag it inside the calendar instead of on top of the canvas. So let's do it one more time. And this time I'm gonna do it on the black part. There we go. Now, if you are in the Keynote app, to crop any of the images, we're gonna double click on them and I'm going to choose the pink one. We're going to use these blue dots to select the part of the sticker that we want. Okay. And now, you can put it anywhere you want on the page, in the corner, bigger, smaller. If you want to rotate the image, what we're going to do is keep one finger on the image and gently use your other finger to move it around. I'm gonna put it right above here. And I really like the way I like it. But now if you want to decrease the opacity, we're going to the paintbrush icon style and we're going to decrease the opacity. Let me move it at the bottom. That way you can see it. Trying to get exactly I'm trying to get exactly 180 degrees. Let's go to the paintbrush icon and here, we can make it 
darker or not as dark. And if you have certain elements on the page and you want that element to appear on top of the web, go to the arrange section and use this front to back. We're gonna move to the back and we're gonna move to the front. As you can see, let me see if I can make it a little bit zoom in so that you can see. Oops. There we go. We're going to make it all the way to the back. And as you can see, the elements on the page start appearing on top of the web. And then we're going to move it all the way to the back. I'm sorry, to the front. That way all the elements on the back can hide. And you can do the same thing with any elements on the page. Let's say you want this working on to be on top. Go to arrange. Let's move it to the front. Okay. If you feel like the, as you can, you may notice that Keynote shows you these little yellow guides. If they're becoming a little bit on your way and you won't let you put them where they belong or where you want to, what we're going to do is click on the three dots and then you're going to click on settings. And right at the top, you can turn off all the guides or keep only the guides that you need. And there we go. You won't bother you as much. All right. You like the way that one looks. This is how the neon stickers look. I actually love their um, how really bright and colorful they are. And now I'm going to add the fall theme, the fall style. I mean. the guides because they're getting a little bit on my way okay I think I want them to appear like they're falling in the middle of the page and kind of like hiding a little bit of the text but not too much I think it's missing one more leaf right on this side so it looks like a whole complete picture. Do I want this or do I want this one? I think this one's. There we go. It looks so pretty. Should leave them like that or decrease the opacity. Maybe just a little. Yay, there we go. Okay, I love them. What I love about these um, stickers, um, when I create them in mind, I want them to look like 2D or 3D on the page. I want them to stand out. And that's 
um you may notice that all the stickers have a background like a, a shadow behind them so it looks like they're just like when you rip them out of the page and put them in there that's how i want them to look okay and maybe one more neon sticker before we move on onto the editable <laughs> stickers just so that it looks complete no oh, this is no oh, this is wonderful and we will look good on the top. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I should put one of the witch, witch's hat right here or the moon. Actually, I'm gonna use the bat and I'm gonna show you a trick. And what color goes well with the rest of it? I'm gonna go in with the purple one. So you may look at the purple bat and if you feel like it needs more color, like the intensity of the neon, it's not as bright as you want it to be. What you can do is duplicate it, paste it again, and then put it on top of it. And you may see that the, the brightness or how, sh um, <laughs> and you may notice how the, um, the bat looks has more color like the intensity of the color it's brighter it's what i meant to say and if we need to select that one and that one gently keep your finger on the screen and drag it down being but we have to be very careful um, not to select the other items there we go i think i have both of them now yep and I'm going to go to the range and I'm group I'm gonna put it as one thing that way I can easily move in if I get out of that image I'm not scared that I have to go do the whole selecting thing again it's just one thing and let's put it right on the side Saturday or the weekend, but I think Saturday might look better. Okay, let me put on slideshow and this is how it looks. Really pretty, really colorful, and um, you can just drag and drop them and move them anywhere you want. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you something really cool. This sticker bundle comes with this one. This is the regular PNG stickers and it comes with editable um, wash tapes. So we're going back into our sticker folder, go back and you get two folders. One is a Keynote and one is a PNG folder. We're going to click into the Keynote, click on it, and then this will open in Keynote. You get this fall theme um, washi tapes. These other ones that have more of a fall and Halloween style. And these ones are um, kind of like a cool fun ones. These are a double um, coffee cup and a sweater. So let's start with the washi tapes. You can copy that one. And now we're going to our planner. And I want the reason the way it shows me the one I was just recently working on. Okay. All right, let's move into the spread, the weekly spread. We're going to click on the screen and select paste. Here you can make it as big or as thin as you want. And I think I want to put it right here. There we go. As you can see, it's a beautiful sticker, especially because it has that back shadow or backdrop, backdrop shadow that gives a beautiful effect. And we can go ahead and put this note on top and we're going to the paintbrush icon and move it to the front. And if some of these ones have that white um, background on them, go to style, no fill. 
and you may also go into the text to change the color if you prefer all right so let's say oh this looks beautiful but i want a different color a different style click on the sticker go to the print brush icon and in style this is where the fun part begins we in the gradient you can choose a different color and i usually like one side to be darker and it goes into this beautiful gradient light um, color i'm gonna choose maybe this one or a pink one as you can see it changes to beautiful color you may also go into colors and just simply change to one color one specific color or we're going to the image and we choose a pattern start from and I save all my images in OneDrive and then I make them um, offline, available offline, that way they look faster on my iPad as I plan. And let me find a really cute pattern. What about this one? Hmm, there we go. So as you can see, it just gives us such a beautiful effect especially it's one of those um washi tapes that um you can have a very simple spread and just adding a little bit of color here and there makes it so sophisticated and elegant we can change the note to black or even gray here we go now we go back to the other um washi tapes and you can do the same thing and with these ones that already have a colorful background, you may do the same. You can copy this one and we can paste it. And you can change the width as much as you want. So let's say if we're gonna put it right behind this one. and let's change the opacity and put it behind if i put a whole thing oh yeah that will look better the whole page Now this is the cool part. Let's say there are a couple of elements like this, but I don't, I, I don't want to mess with everything while I'm editing. So you go to arrange, and we're going, and we're going, oh, I'm so sorry, and we're going to lock the image in that position. So we're going to click lock. As you notice, the background, the the image in the back won't move or won't um, get on the way of us editing. I want to change this to no fill and then move it a little bit to the bottom so they're not on top of a line. There we go. And then I want to remove the background from the calendar too. Style, no fill. Oh, let me put it on. And this is how it looks. So I just want to show you that you have different options and different ways for you to decorate different parts of a planner. So it doesn't have to always be the same, adding too many stickers to just give it a touch, just adding a background image to one side and done. And last but not least, I want to show you how to edit the coffee cup and the sweater. Okay, so the cool part is that if you click on the middle one, which has the heart, we can change that to any style. Insert from. And just in case you're wondering, I find these stickers in Creative Fabrica Design Bundles and the Hungry JPEG. Um, I will make sure to leave a link and the description box if you would like to check them out. Okay. So you're going to take the sticker and put it on top as if it was to sleep. 
So what I recommend doing is if you don't want to mess up with the style, duplicate this line. That way you can keep the original and just keep messing around or playing with the, the one that you're editing. We're going to select everything and go to the coffee cup where you want to put it. Mm, let's see which page do I want to put it. Here. Oops. So I'm gonna group it. Oops, it has a group. And It's a little to the side, so I'm going to make a little bit straight. There we go. And then you can do the same thing with the sweater. The sweater comes in two parts, the main color and then the sleeves. Um, the, I don't know how you call those in English, but the little parts that come, um, the parts that go with the sweater. <laughs> and this one too, as you can see, separate. And we're just gonna choose a different color. So these are a couple of different elements that you can play with around and um, have fun with. So if you enjoy using my stickers or you end up using any of them, please don't forget to tag me on any social media, my um, at lifeismessyandbrilliant.com. Um, I hope to see your creations and I hope you enjoy these stickers. Until the next time. Bye.